Hello, my beauties, and welcome to yet another episode of Skincare with Asikia Iyala. Of course, I'm your girl, Asikia Iyala. Today, I am back with another exciting video. And in this video, I'll be talking about the most requested topic from my previous video, which is all about sunscreen. You guys wanted me to make a recommendation about the best sunscreen you can buy in the market. I am willing to do that, but I'm trying my best to keep this video to 10 minutes, nothing more than that. I hope I'll be able to do that. Let's dive right into it. Now we all know what sunscreen is and I know some people don't know the importance of sunscreen. Uh, you might ask, is it really necessary for us to use sunscreen every day? And my answer definitely would be yes. We need to use our sunscreen every day. It doesn't matter if you are a person of color, it doesn't matter if you are a Caucasian, you need to use your sunscreen. Most especially if you are like me, who is into skin lightening, then definitely you want to protect yourself from the sun. The two main or the two types of sunscreen we have. We have the physical sunscreen, also known as the mineral sunscreen, and we have the chemical sunscreen. So I'm going to begin with the physical sunscreen, but before I do, uh, we need to talk about the UV rays. Now we have the UVA and also the UVB. UVA can actually penetrate to the deeper layers of your skin, which is the dermix layer of your skin, and that is actually what causes us to age. Now UVB is what causes us to burn. UVB doesn't penetrate into the layers of our skin, but it can cause us to have burns. So in order for you to remember this, always remember that UVA is for aging and UVB is for burns. So let's move right into the physical, also known as the mineral sunscreen. This is what I prefer. I love to use the physical sunscreen compared to the chemical sunscreen. And I'm gonna tell you guys why as time goes on. Definitely the active ingredients you will find in all physical or mineral sunscreen are zinc oxide and titanium oxide. These are the two main active ingredients you will find and they are very safe. According to the FDA, this is 100% safe for humans to use. So, so many people do run away from it because of the white coating it leaves on the skin. Good news is that most companies do produce tinted uh, physical or mineral sunscreen, which is for me amazing because I don't want to apply physical sunscreen where I have all the white coating and it is not so good for a darker skin tone. So yeah. Now what the physical or mineral sunscreen does is when there is a UV rays trying to penetrate on the skin or in the skin, it causes a reflection that bounces right back. So there won't be any penetration from the UVA or the UVB rays. Okay guys? And you can actually apply your physical or mineral sunscreen immediately go out in the sun without any kind of damage. And it will give you a very good coverage on your skin. But you need to apply your physical or mineral sunscreen all the time on your skin. Either you're using the spray sunscreen or you're reapplying. If you don't have makeup on your skin, you can reapply every two to three hours depending on the SPF you buy. Now, let me make this really clear to you guys. Uh, my recommendation, if you want to know, I would say always start with SPF 30. Then we have SPF 30 to SPF 100. And that will last you up to two to three hours before you reapply new one. You also want to be careful when using the physical uh, sunscreen or the mineral sunscreen because it sits on your skin. It doesn't penetrate into your skin or your skin doesn't absorb it. So you want to make sure you're not rubbing off the sunscreen on your skin skin. If you're at the pool or you're doing any outdoor activities, you want to make sure that you have your sunscreen with you all the time because they might rub off. So you want to make sure you're applying to get a full coverage on your skin. I hope you guys understand what I'm trying to say here. Okay, let me repeat myself. The physical sunscreen, unlike the chemical sunscreen, it doesn't absorb into your skin. It sits on your skin. So if there is a UV rays trying to penetrate on your skin, it causes a reflection that bounces back 
and not allowing the UV rays to penetrate into your skin. So if it rubs off, so in any case it rubs off, you want to make sure you reapply uh, the sunscreen in any area to get a full coverage. Okay guys, and there are so many good physical or mineral sunscreen in the market that you can buy. And like I said, this is 100% FDA approved for humans. Okay guys, now let's jump right into the chemical <laughs> sunscreen that is causing all the wahala. I don't know if you guys know what I mean. If you're from where I am from, you know what wahala is. <laughs> this is what is causing all the controversy, all the misconception, and I would break it down for you guys. Now the chemical sunscreen has different ingredients, which is the active ingredient in it and i'll be leaving on my screen most of the ingredients you can find in a chemical sunscreen which are not so good for you at all most especially uh the oxybenzyl i don't know if i'm pronouncing that really right i'm going to be leaving the name on my screen so you guys can see this is not so good for humans like seriously if you mistakenly eat this particular ingredient that I'm talking about, which is the oxybenzyl, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that well. Yeah, this is very dangerous to humans. You, a person can die, like literally you can die if you mistakenly eat such kind of ingredients. So this is something that is not so healthy at all. There is something people are saying that is driving me crazy right now that, oh, the sun can cause you to have skin cancer that is totally wrong <laughs> no 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 no. look this is all marketing strategies i will tell you this and believe you me the sun cannot cause you to have skin cancer what causes you to have skin cancer is your chemical sunscreen the ingredients used in making chemical sunscreen are not so safe for you and unfortunately our skin do absorb these chemicals and they go right into our bloodstreams so something that is very harmful to humans and they are applied on the skin obviously chemical sunscreen before it can even start working it needs to be absorbed on like the what is it called on like the physical or mineral sunscreen that you can apply and just go out in the sun because it sits on your skin and immediately it starts to protect your skin the chemical uh, sunscreen you need to wait 15 to 20 minutes for the chemical to be absorbed into your skin before you can even go out and what happens when the UV rays hits your skin there is a chemical reaction that takes place on your skin that regenerates uh, what is it called heat this heat now goes in a circle and bounces back out of your skin that is not so safe at all for me let's be realistic here in the record of the highest places you can find skin cancer are actually not from the places you can find highest sun in the world. This is a sign to let you know that the sun cannot cause you to have skin cancer. What causes you to have skin cancer is all that active that they put in the chemical sunscreen that are not so safe for us as humans. Please do your research. Copy the names on my screen go do your research about all of these ingredients you would see what i'm telling you this is what can cause a person to have skin cancer not the sun at all and not physical sunscreen or mineral sunscreen uh what else do i want to say concerning the chemical sunscreen chemical sunscreen definitely is very very irritating if you have sensitive skin it is not so good for you at all but the good thing about sun, um, the good thing about chemical sunscreen is it doesn't leave a white coat on your skin. You can apply it; it absorbs into your skin, like I said, which is not so safe for you. Yeah, that's all I need to say about the two different kinds of sunscreen. And for my opinion, I would say always look out for the sunscreen that is written physical or mineral sunscreen that's the best of the best that you can ever find and use that is safe for you the fda has approved 100 percent that the physical sunscreen is safe for humans now what do you have to look for i've said that already you have to look for the physical sunscreen that is written either 
physical or mineral sunscreen and obviously the active ingredients are zinc oxide and titanium oxide these are the main two ingredients you can find in your sunscreen you can see other ingredients those are just fillers there and please make sure you're looking out for a physical sunscreen or a mineral sunscreen that has some form of antioxidants in them because this is like a very good boost antioxidant is like a shield a protection as well that can help your sunscreen and help your skin as well so you want to make sure you're looking out for product that has antioxidants for my advice i would say before you go out or before you even use your physical sunscreen you can also apply like vitamin E on your skin first allow it to sit on your skin for maybe five to ten minutes and then you can now apply your physical sunscreen on your skin and the reason why you want to do this is because vitamin E is very rich in antioxidants so this is going to give you a boost and also an extra protection for your skin and also help your sunscreen to perform even much better I don't want to make this video too long so on my screen I'll be leaving uh, pictures and also names of different sunscreen that you can buy that I know the ingredients are really really good for your skin and these are tinted yes so you can find them in different shades you can find them uh, medium you can find them light you can find them dark skin tone you can find all of those skin tones in the sunscreen that I'll be listing out here for you guys to make your choice and i'll be leaving a link also in my description box and also in my comment section just in case you want to buy this stuff you can gain access straight on amazon and buy your own sunscreen so let's talk about the spray sunscreen i love spray sunscreen most especially when i have my makeup on but you need to be careful when you want to use your spray sunscreen you want to make sure that you close your nose before you spray it, your eyes should close. You don't want anything getting into your eyes and you also do not want to breathe anything from the spray. So make sure you have your, your nose fully covered, your eyes covered before you spray your uh, sunscreen. And I'm gonna repeat myself again. The sun cannot cause you to have skin cancer. What can cause you to have skin cancer definitely is oxybenzone. You want to stay away from that ingredient. Like run, <laughs> run away from that ingredient, guys. I, I don't think the sun can cause you to have any kind of skin cancer. Yeah, that's just a marketing strategy to get people to buy products. I know this, guys. <laughs> all right that's all i have to say in this video if you're new to my channel you are absolutely welcome here i love to teach people how to diy definitely you are at the right place if you guys have any question if you have any uh, requests on any video you would like to see me do or make please do not hesitate to leave your comments in my comment section and i'll be willing to make those videos for you guys you can follow me on facebook you can follow me on instagram i would prefer you follow me on instagram Thanks guys for watching my video. Like I will always say, if it doesn't feed you, do not water it. Bye for now guys and stay blessed. I love you.